the dark truth behind Lil Mosey's lifestyle. So we're here with 16 Bars and I'm sitting next to Lil Mosey and it's the second time. Lil Mosey, the 18-year-old rapper hailing from Seattle, Washington, saw success before he was legally able to drive. After releasing music on SoundCloud and receiving views numbering in the hundreds of thousands, Lil Mosey realized he had a chance at making a name for himself and decided to move to LA with his producer. At just 15 years old, Mosey quit school, said goodbye to his mother in Seattle, and made his way to LA to officially begin his career. The move shocked the world as the team maneuvered through the industry like a pro, showing how willing he was to put the work in and get where he needs to be. While Lil Mosey's rise to fame has been exciting to watch, there are some unsettling details about the young star that have caught our eye. Thanks for joining us on Lime Report, everyone. Today, we will be talking about Lil Mosey and the secrets surrounding his young life. Before we begin, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out the link in our description for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Don't go anywhere, here's Lil Mosey's dark truth revealed. Lil Mosey's rise to fame took the world by surprise in 2018 when a 16-year-old kid was climbing the charts effortlessly with singles like Pull Up and Boof Pack. After signing to Interscope Records, Mosey released his debut album, North's Best, that featured two singles, including his most commercially successful single to date, Noticed. From his debut, Lil Mosey has been on fire in an effort to build on the success he's found at such a young age. After releasing his first album at just 16, Lil Mosey was just getting started, allowing him the opportunity to tour with the likes of Smokey Margiela, Juice World, and Lil TJ, among other young stars. While he works hard to sharpen his image, a dark cloud lingers over him that could prove to hurt his career in the long run. What part of Lil Mosey's seemingly perfect life could actually prove to be a threat to his career? Stay tuned as we discover a dark secret bubbling underneath the surface, waiting to burst. Lil Mosey's life has been mostly quiet leading up to his success. Unlike many of his peers in the field, Mosey has not served any jail time and, from what we can tell, he doesn't seem to be affiliated with any gangs. As far as trouble goes, the Seattle star has been able to keep his nose clean as he maneuvers through the trials of fame. Yet that doesn't mean Mosey doesn't have his share of troubles. In the summer of 2019, Seattle's music scene was appalled when Lil Mosey said that there wasn't much going on regarding Seattle rap. While the city has always been a legendary place for music, it's true that there hasn't been much activity in the genre since Macklemore first came out. The young rapper is the first to take inspiration from some of the biggest names in hip-hop and bring the sound to the otherwise alternative Northwest. Though his intentions were good, the comments in the interview came off as a diss against his hometown, which did not go over well. Once they caught wind of the interview, local music writers expressed their displeasure with his comments in print, lowering his status in his own city. The interview, or even bashing his own city, isn't all that bad on its own. Yet the carelessness in his comment showed the difference between a real veteran and the still only 18 Lil Mosey. His lack of caution caused a backlash that could have been easily avoided. Even worse, when confronted about his remarks, Lil Mosey took to Instagram to defend himself and explain away rather than offer an apology to his city. I only with a couple heads in Seattle and the South End, all my in the North, if y'all don't know about us, you will for sure, he wrote in an Instagram story. I was trying to help Seattle get on, but can't see the bigger picture, that's why you haven't made it out. The comments showed a lack of respect for his peers and an unwillingness to back down from his position. Yet those angered by Little Mosey didn't back down and called him out for his diss. Later in the evening, Mosey took to Instagram again in a calmer tone to address the issue. Everyone's saying I'm hating on Seattle, but they're taking that out of context, he said in a video. What I really meant to say was, I'm the only new wave artist to really break out of Seattle. There's a lot of hidden talent. There's a lot of new wave artists that haven't been recognized by the world yet. I'm trying to put on for my city. I'm trying to do what Drake did for Toronto. The video helped to pacify the situation, but it's clear Mosey's lack of experience is what led him into an unpleasant situation with an entire music scene. His reckless attitude could eventually lead him into trouble. While his trash talk towards Seattle brought up some questions surrounding the young star, what we go over next could mean the end of Lil Mosey's career if he's not careful. Stay tuned as we find out what dangers the Blueberry Fago rapper could be facing. Lil Mosey isn't known to be tied to any illegal activities or street gangs despite his lyrics boasting a lifestyle of selling drugs and holding guns on the corner. The struggle he sings of is mostly inspired by those who actually lived a life in the South. Trap music originated from the southern states as a form of music sung by those who sold drugs or participated in illegal activities as a way to cope with the stresses brought by the gang lifestyle. After pervading the culture, the signature booming 808s and high-energy drums became a staple in mainstream music. 
The success of the genre ushered a new wave of artists all aiming to rap about their struggles and gain fame and glory in exchange. However, as with every path to success, some of those rapping about their struggles are making up their trap life entirely. Using just the catchy flow and the power of the internet, rappers like Lil Mosey create the image of a gangbuster in order to heighten their street cred and boost their image and status. The most extreme example of this is Takashi69, who actually joined a branch of the United Bloods Nation after launching his career and provided them with money in exchange for the use of their name and image to boost his own. We don't believe at this time that Lil Mosey is going that far, but he does seem to often make reference to guns and gang activity. The rapper is known to rap about his life, but there may be some embellishments to his past in music. Despite his tentative status as a studio gangster and not an actual one, Lil Mosey has proven he isn't afraid to come after anyone he has a problem with. Earlier this year, Lil Mosey freestyled on his Instagram live about a nerd who wears glasses and stole his rhymes. While it was unclear at the time who he was speaking about, his IG live in October brought more clarity to the situation. As Mosey was taking questions from his fans, things became tense when one fan asked if he would ever consider collaborating with Lil Tecca. When faced with the question, Lil Mosey immediately lashed out at his fans. So you said, are you doing a song with Lil Tecca? Tekka. Is you saying? Don't ever bring up his name in my live one more time, he said in a short clip from his IG that surfaced online. Lil Tekka, much like Lil Mosey, is part of the rap subgenre inspired by original southern trap music. However, he isn't much of a gangster either. Unlike Mosey though, Tekka has always branded himself as a cool nerd that likes parties and girls. Despite the hate thrown his way, Tekka didn't seem phased by the diss. Soon after Mosey's broadcast, the young rapper posted an image of a burger from fast food chain Five Guys on his Instagram stories, seemingly referencing his song Side Note, which features the lyrics, You said you want beef? Go to Five Guys. The beef seemed mostly one-sided when Lil Tecca's fans at a show decided to express their support for the artist, breaking out in a Lil Mosey chant, possibly in an effort to rile up Tecca. But Tekka shut it down quickly. No, that's not what we doing here, he told the audience in an effort to dispel the chant. The dispute so far between Lil Mosey and Lil Tekka doesn't seem to mean too much for either side, yet it displays once again how immature Lil Mosey can be. His childish displays come out every once in a while, and it's tough to think how dangerous it is to give someone still developing so much money. From the surface, it seems that Lil Mosey is grinding his way to the top and doing well, but if he's not careful, he can end up down the wrong path as so many unfortunate young stars before him have. Lil Mosey's story as a child rap prodigy is one to marvel at. Despite being only 15 at the time he made the decision, he convinced his mom to let him drop out of school and move to LA with his producer to pursue his passion of music. The Seattle star made noise early in his life and took advantage of every opportunity he could to make sure he achieves his dreams. Teaming up with countless stars, producing feel-good tracks, and even frequently teaming up with lyrical lemonade visionary Cole Bennett have all proven to be exactly the right moves to help shoot his name to the top. While his career expands, Lil Mosey needs to tread carefully in the dangerous world of the rich and famous. His clean record could easily be flipped upside down if he keeps up his gangster persona and ends up running with the wrong group of people as the unfortunate Takashi 6 9 did. Lil Mosey has the opportunity to be the rapper to finally put Seattle wordsmiths on the map. It all depends on his ability to continue to learn and grow. His talents are undeniable and the rapper showed in his sophomore album, Certified Hitmaker, that he is already what he claims to be at just the age of 18. The struggle now is following up the success and building on the hype he's already created for himself. While we don't know what the future holds for Lil Mosey, we do know that if he wants to survive in the world he's living in, he will have to be much more careful about the battles he chooses to fight. Being in the public eye, his every move is always being watched. One false move could mean the end of his promising career in a flash. Tell us what you think in the comment section down below. Will Lil Mosey become the Drake of Seattle and establish the city as a rap hub? Or will his cockiness spell the end for his career before he has a chance to see the top? Thanks for joining us here on Lime Report, folks. Before you go, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check out the link in the description for a chance to win our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. School one second to like thousands of people. Be first, like, oh yeah, that's and then I just started freestyling too. Like, I, that's, how I, that's how usually I know, like, I started, started freestyling. And Singing along with your art. Like, like, I mean, like, I wanted this. I've been wanting this, so like, I, I, like, I knew it was gonna happen one day. But I usually come up with some fire sh like off that, like one or two lines, and then I either write the rest or, or like. If I change, I mean, it's on point. It depends on why you bought that.
Uh, I, I didn't think it was gonna happen. As, I wanted to happen as early, but now that I'm here, like now, if you had to give up the game, if you had to draw the blue freestyle some more, or just freestyle like the whole thing, if I'm like, not nah, trying to write. If you're on it, if, I just bought it because I, I like it. I just like Julie. I don't know.